Welcome back, to a new episode of our project. In the last few days, I had time to edit the scenes we created together in Cinema 4D. Before we look at the individual scenes, I want to show you how I edited the last scene of the start sequence in After Effects. I have exported an image sequence and a depth layer. First, we import the layers into the composition. Then we assign the depth layer to our image sequence. I use the camera lens blur plugin. Now I can manually set the depth of field to whatever I want. Now, I want to create a clip to be seen on our monitors. I have decided on the Super Bowl 2021. This Tom Brady is a badass quarterback. After assigning some effects to the composition, I use the corner pin tool to get the layers in the right position. This is an easy way to place monitor images correctly. To create a little more cyberpunk atmosphere, I now install a light column. This is very easy, with the free Saber plugin from Video Copilot. Every After Effects artist must have this plugin on his PC. With this tool you can create all kinds of effects that look like energy sources. After a few settings it looks quite good. Now it's time to create an adjustment layer and add the CC Rain tool. Finally, we animate the scaling of the composition to create a camera animation. Now we add our main composition to the Rain preset and export the scene as a PNG sequence. Now let's go through the created scenes together again and show the individual properties. The first scene we created together in an earlier video. I just made a few adjustments and installed a monitor. Then I created a camera animation by scaling the composition. In the next scene we have a constant downward movement of the camera. To save a lot of time, I did not animate this movement in Cinema 4D. I export the sequence twice the size of the original, without camera movement from Cinema 4D. Of course with all necessary layers. Then I create a pre-comp of the scene in the required original size of our project. Now I can move the footage from bottom to top and create a camera animation. In this scene, I rendered the bridge with the train as a single object. Otherwise, I repeat the arrangement of the single layers and the animation of the composition as in the previous scenes. Here we add some steam to the scene to make it more realistic. We have immense possibilities to subsequently imply objects into our scene. Why not a cat running across the tubes?
Now we have reached the ground level. The necessary steps are the same. Import all layers and put them to their purpose. After the animation of the composition we get a nice camera animation. Now we have finished the start sequence of the movie. Let's see what we have done so far. This already looks quite good. Now we have created a good environment to tell a cyberpunk story. In the next episode, I'll start the storytelling. Peace.